Hello friends. So in today's video we'll discuss about time cycles in stocks. How we can find time cycles in stocks using some simple mathematical concepts which are not at all complicated. How we can use these concepts to trade in uh, you know to find some important trading moves in the stocks or indices. Now <clears throat> this is a chart of DV's lab. On this day which is 3rd of February it made a fall of almost 11%. Can we find these kind of moves well in advance? Can we find these kind of days well in advance? Now having said that these are mathematical concepts at the end of the day trading is all about your risk management and your you know uh, your ability to write the trend it doesn't mean that you can short at this top and cover at this bottom this is not trading about this is uh, you know very difficult to do uh, but eventually if 11% you are able to capture 6 to 7% that is a very decent move you know a bank FD gives 7 per to 8 percent a year and if you are able to capture such kind of trades three to four times a year you can make very decent money but when these trades will come it's something you know we should be mindful about so let's first let me show you how to find these kind of time cycles now to do that like gan used to tell you know always study the past find from major high and low uh, you know next major move can be find out so <clears throat> today we are using a concept of sine now sine trigonometry so we used to have sine cosine tan you know so and today uh, so all these things can be used but for today i'll give you an example of sine so sine 60 degree is a very very important angle so if i do sine 60 okay uh, let me just show you again first you type 60 and i want to calculate the sine value of 60 which comes to 0 0.866 now this is a very very important number so what we are doing is this is the chart of dv's lab and if you can see here in 2019 19th march 2021 it made a bottom of uh, 3153 i think i have taken a wrong bottom yeah let me just quickly show you the calculations here so dv's lab uh, on 9th march 2000 uh, yeah 14th august 2019 it made a low of 1466 so first let's go and check this figure <laughs> yeah 14th august 2019 it made a low of 13 1466 from there the stock has been rallying this was a long term bottom now what we'll do is the calculations are very simple so 1466 and it made this on this day 14th august 2019 now what we are doing is we are adding this value the price value with 0 0.866 which is sine 60 degree value and adding to this date so what i am doing is equal to let me just show you somewhere here equal to if you want to create your own formula just type equal to 1466 multiplied by 0 0.866 so you get this value 1269 now add this value to this low 14 august 2009 19 plus 1269 it will give you a date of 13th february 2023 now what happened 3 3rd february 2023 and 3rd february the stock has seen a very very big fall of almost 11 percent now this is just a date how do i use i use price cycles also uh, this is an important swing indicator which we use so in the opening it was below this and this move was very difficult to capture in intraday you know if i just quickly show you on intraday I go to a five minutes or a four minute start and I go to 2023. The first fall is quite rapid. You know, this was very difficult to capture, right? I mean, it's basically some big selling happened in the first eight minutes. So after that, what we can do is, so my next important level here is 3190. So let me go and check what happened at 3190. Yeah, see here. So the price went about 3190, then it started going. See, 3190 acted as a strong resistance. And from there, the big fall has started. Like uh, at 1251, before this big fall, we were short at 3190. And what were our potential targets? Our potential targets were, as per my indicator, 3190 then 3098 3011 2, 2924 these are our targets so you can 
keep booking your profits here so it's a very very simple thing you know just add that well you know similarly we have done this calculation so we have our own scanner here which will figure out what dates are coming here so like Apollo Hospital on 20th February let's quickly go and check what happened to Apollo Hospital 20th February again this was the top I'll just touch here 20th February uh, which is here 17 20th see it was also a short term top it price got rejected here and from there we had a decent fall this day this stock fell 2% and another 1% generally I'm expecting 4 to 5% you get big moves it's good so but at least you can keep booking your profits here similarly you can uh, you know pause the video and look for these you know Muthut Finance, Dr. Reddy, Stumble Fertilizers these were the stocks in February let me quickly show you for January also uh, Zero two three, yeah. So one minute, yeah. So January, you can backtest these stocks. The we have got a lot many. ACC was on 19 January 23. ACC has been in news. Let's see what happened on 19 January 23. 19 January, yeah. So this was a perfect top, you know. After that, such a nice fall it came in. And if I touch to this top. You get easily trading levels before this big fall this price already came here so yeah using these simple techniques you can capture you can pause these videos and look at how these things have performed and now let me quickly uh, you know tell you what are the important dates for March based on these calculations based on our scanner and you can develop on your own I mean I've just told you the technique just spend some time calculate the highs and lows and do it See here, these are the stocks, Aicha Motor, Escorts, HDFC, Hindi Unilever and with these dates. So you can watch out for these stocks. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, you know, a very small video, how you can find time cycles for stocks, how they can be used to find some important moves in the stocks. And uh, these calculations are uh, not shared, but uh, you know, you can use any of your indicators to do it. But uh, yeah, these are helpful calculations which based on our experience. But apart from that, I have told you how to find these stocks so you can use them and use it in your trading. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, do let me know. I'll try to answer them. Thank you.